In the past, I've shown you the best video editing software. Those we've mentioned, like DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, do have a high learning curve. Many have asked what free editing software is great for beginners making videos for YouTube or another video site. So coming up, I'll show you the top five best free video editors for beginners, all of which, once downloaded, can be used offline without an internet connection. At the end of this video, I'll give you a quick getting started tutorial of our number one pick. Let's get started. Starting off our list at number five is Avidimux. It's a lightweight video editor that runs smoothly even on some older computers. I would not recommend this for large projects. It's more suited for small editing tasks like putting together clips from a social gathering or something similar. You won't be making the next blockbuster movie with this. For its intended purpose, it does a great job and supports many file types including AVI, MPEG, and MP4. It's available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Coming in at number four is Apple's iMovie for macOS and iOS. With the latest versions, it now supports the editing of 4K video clips imported from a GoPro, smartphones, and other devices. The user interface is the cleanest and easiest to navigate of any editor on this list. You can export your finished project directly to several platforms, including Facebook and YouTube. It's not the most powerful of video editors, but it does work well for minor projects. If you're on a Mac, you should check out iMovie. In at the third spot is VideoPad Video Editor. These top three I show you are more powerful than the fourth and fifth picks, and could be in any order depending on which one you feel more comfortable working with. VideoPad is great for new users and has a user interface that is easy to navigate. It has a lot of the audio and video features that you would find in the expensive video editors, including transitions and visual effects. It even includes zoom effects. It's available for Windows and Mac. On Windows, VideoPad offers both a free and paid version. For most people, the free version will be all that they need. To get it for free, make sure to click the link where it says download the free version here. For Mac OS, you can get it in the Mac App Store for free and offers in-app purchases. In at the runner-up spot at number two is Lightworks. Lightworks has been used to help produce big-time movies such as Pulp Fiction and The Wolf of Wall Street. It's been around for about 25 years and is the most powerful video editor on this list. Some of the key features are GPU accelerated real-time effects, video capture, and professional level color correction. Lightworks would have easily been number one on this list, but the free version has limitations. You can only export MPEG-4 files with resolutions up to 720p, and the free license must be renewed every seven days, which I'm sure for a lot of you that can be very annoying. Other than that, on this list, it is the most fully featured video editor and it's available for download on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Coming in at number one for the best free video editing software is Shotcut. Shotcut is a free and open source video editor with powerful features and includes support for a wide range of formats. Shotcut is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. What is great about it and why I have it number one on this list is because it has a professional feel with tons of features including 4K support which are all included without restrictions that can cost extra in other video editors. In fact, Shotcut is completely free. They don't even offer a paid version. Right now, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial to show you some of the basics of using this software with video and audio files. I usually use a three monitor setup when editing. To make things simpler for this tutorial, I've added a couple of video and an audio file to the desktop. When you first open up Shotcut, you're gonna to wanna to create a video and an audio timeline. So go down here to where it says timeline, select the little hamburger menu here, select add video track, click that same icon and select add audio track. You can add as many video and audio tracks as you need. Head over to the far left column here. You'll see the options for filters, playlist and export. Select playlist. Now select your first video file, select and drag it over here to the playlist. Now you'll see it playing. Where it's playing, click and drag it down to the timeline. 
for video. To add another video file, select another video, bring it back over here to the playlist, and where the video is playing, drag it down to the timeline next to the first video. If you want to stitch that first and second video together to create a crossfade effect, select the second video, drag it to the left, let go. I'll show you what that looks like. There, just crossfaded. To add audio to your editor, take an audio file, drag it like you did the video file over to the playlist, and then drag that audio file down to the timeline. If you want that audio file to seam with the end of the video file, go to the end of the audio file here, where you see the double arrows, click and drag it all the way to the end. With the audio file selected, I'll show you a few options. Head over to where it says Filters, Playlist, and Export. Select Filters, and select Fade In Audio. Another one that's useful is Fade Out Audio. To change the volume of the audio track, select Plus again. Select Gain Volume. You can either drag the bar to change the volume on your track, or you can highlight the numbers where it says 15.5 and just type something in. Usually minus 30.0 usually works well, and it automatically saves. If you're done editing your video, you'll need to export it. So go back to where it says Filters, Playlist, and Export. Select Export, and I'll show you some settings that I like to use. Find H.264, High Profile, select that. Head over to the next column where it says Video. You'll see the resolution is 1920 by 1080, aspect ratio of 16.9, where it says frame per second, set to 25. Let's make it 30. Leave everything else the same. Select codec. Let's change the quality from 60 to 70. And I leave the audio and the other tab exactly as they are. And when you're ready to export that to a folder, select export file and then you just name your file like you would anything else that you're saving. And that concludes this mini tutorial. As I mentioned earlier, there are a ton of sources on the internet to learn more about how to use Shotcut, so I highly recommend you check those out. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video editing software, or if there's another program that you think should have made this list. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to not miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff.